show everyone your, 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 your uh, sling. So this is what's happened to her. What's up guys? It's the Monago family A. Hey, Monago family A. Hey, Monago family A. Hey. I'm Uche. I'm Charmaine. And we're the Monaco family parents. Yeah. And we hope you're good. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you join the family. And don't forget to give this vlog a big like because you know the likes keep our channel alive. MF Squad, we love you guys. We appreciate you guys. So literally, we've just had, just recovered from the worst 24 hours. Is it 24 hours or 48? And it's been 48 hours now, I think, yeah. 24 I, I to 48 know. anyway. Yeah. But it all kind of took place at the same time. So basically, it started with mummy. Yes being really ill. Mummy got, go on, you explain. Yeah, well, UTI, well, urine infection, anyway. Don't want to get too deep into it, but yeah, it's really painful. And so I was struck with that, but I had that, and that was me done. And then like, I was sick for the day, and then. What happened was the evening, I can't tell you who I went to see because it's a secret, but you'll find out in the next vlog, so stay yeah. tuned for that. Yeah. So basically, someone came to visit, yeah. and I went to the hotel to meet that person while she was ill. And I remember having a conversation with her and saying to her, uh, look i said to her look do you are you sure you want me to go yeah are you okay and she said yeah it's fine i'll be fine just go and see the person it's important that you see them and in the end i went i went we chilled i had something to eat and basically came back and yeah it was the worst night i think i've had ever yeah it's probably the worst food poisoning i've had ever i believe so literally just yeah sorry for the graphic details just vomiting throughout the night and just sitting here just waiting for it to pass basically we were just online trying to find out what to do it was crazy you know yeah. drank loads of water and i think my stomach stomach literally just washed it out so that happened and she was helping as much as she could <laughs> but she was in pain herself so we we're just both <laughs> beside each other in pain which is just a nightmare because it both happened at the same time so that happened eventually got to bed at about 11 o'clock when it settled yeah in the afternoon so 11 o'clock in the afternoon mm -hmm. and morning. then morning. in the morning in the morning mm -hmm. yeah and then what happened was then to top it all off getting to a point where i'm just starting to eat again mummy's still going through hers myra comes in out of nowhere and myra's injured her arm basically so she's gone out with her friends and basically they're, they're on an electric scooter together don't worry we've had the conversation with her i think she's learned the strong lesson that you basically need to wear protective gear when you're on the electric scooter but she's gone outside with her friend and they've basically fallen down and injured themselves so we walk outside the front door and myra's there with her friend. A friend and I have managed to hobble to the front door. They're both screaming. They're the both street. screaming on the street and she's hurt her arm. Yeah. Um, thankfully she's okay mm -hmm. in case you're wondering. We'll get her on here to kind of talk to you. She has got a sling. We managed to take her to um, okay. the doctor's yesterday. Yeah. She had an x-ray, nothing long term or anything like that but she learned her lesson. She's, got, she's learned her lesson and she's yeah. got like a sling. It's going to be about two weeks worth of healing. We've told her look you know you need to wear protective gear and things like that and she should really have asked permission before going on a scooter. Yeah. Electric scooter but you know they're, they're kids right and they're going to make some mistakes in their life and you know things like this sometimes they have to learn from really mm -hmm. you just you know when they haven't hurt themselves too bad is this is the main thing but you know them hurting themselves here and there comment down below if you agree by the way them hurting themselves here and there i think is actually good i don't think you can protect your child from every single thing comment down below if you agree just hope they're sensible enough to not do really really silly things when you're not with them and so forth so yeah and if you're kind of new to our channel you know where we come from london kids don't play out on their own but here obviously we live in a gated community Community. It's secure, it's safe. One of the reasons why we came here, which is amazing. Loads of parks, loads of stuff for them to do. So they all knock for each other in the community and they all play with each other. And it's amazing. They're making some amazing friends. But look, we've recovered from the worst 24 hours. <laughs> And we're feeling a lot better now. Let's yeah. go catch up with Myra and Safira. Myra can say hello to you. And another thing as well, which we will comment on, stay tuned for a vlog coming up on this. The healthcare system here is absolutely amazing. It is amazing. We've got to do a vlog on this and we'll tell you about kind of comparing this vlog to our UK experience. Mm -hmm. And I know you watch us from all around the world. Of course, we can't compare it with the rest of the world, but we'll tell you what it's like and you can kind of compare that to what you experience where you're from. But it is really, really on point. We think the way that they do it is primarily private, but we'll show you on a new vlog, mm -hmm. right? So should we get Myra, the girl at the moment? Yes. And we'll get Sophia to say hello as well. Yeah. Because you probably haven't seen her for a while as well. Comment down below, let us know how you're doing as well, but we'll get the girls now. So here's Myra. Say hi. Hi, everyone. Okay. Show everyone your your your, your uh, sling. So this is what's happened to her. 
one, tell everybody what happened. <laughs> so me and my friends um, were riding a black electric scooter, one of those big ones. So then I braked the electric scooter and it didn't like fully brake. And we were at the front of the house, so then I fell on the floor. We both fell on the floor actually. And? And I fell on my arm. And? You were both crying? <laughs> no, she did. I was screaming on the floor and she didn't cry, she held it. And then she rang the doorbell, our house doorbell, and then Safira saw us and she was jogging like this because her knee was bleeding. So she was just jogging. She was jogging to try and get the pain. Then when she went home, she started crying hard, like very badly. And what have you learned from this? To use safety gear next time because I wasn't wearing anything and I need permission as well. You need to ask for permission. Oh. I like your lesson. Okay, so how long are you going to have that for now? <laughs> have you told them how long you're going to have it for? No. So what did they say? Two weeks, right? They said three or two weeks. Uh, I think it should be done in two weeks, right? In two weeks, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay, so she's learned her lesson now. She's okay, she's learned her lesson, but she's not going to go on a scooter again without permission and without protective gear. Yeah. Okay. So guys, thank you for chilling with us on this vlog, on this update vlog. Next 24 hours are going to be better. Of course, the girls, I'm sure Myra and Sifira have learned a lesson from this. And we, you know, we try to give them a bit of space yeah. as parents yeah. and not be on top of them all the time, which encourages them to, to kind of learn and become independent. And unfortunately, sometimes things like this do, does happen as a result of it. But yeah, they're growing, they're learning. Mm -hmm. yeah. And every yeah. lesson, every 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 situation like this is a learning lesson, isn't it? It is, yeah. Really. But look, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe, give this vlog a like, and we will see you next time. Uh, peace out.